See these billionaires right here? They just got exposed. Now they got exposed for a crazy real estate play that they're making. I'm gonna tell you what it is and why they kept quiet on this for so long and then how they kind of got exposed. You might not know some of these faces. Uh, Mark Andreessen's here and then uh, this is Jobs right here as well. Um, and we have, uh, let's see, Reed Hoffman as well. So. They all invested in a company called Flannery and Associates. Flannery and Associates was started by a 36 year old ex kind of a um, Wall Street guy who has tech experience. And so, what he did is went and uh, basically pitched these investors and got them to give him $800 million. Now, we know all the details kind of about their partnership based off of um, a few things, but these court documents were one of them because the company had a multi hundred million dollar lawsuit that they had to get into after their investment, um, you know, sealed or culminated or whatever. Like basically the business they invested in got into a hundred million dollar plus lawsuit and uh, it was wild. So what exactly are they doing? And to best understand it, I want to show you this map right here. This is the Travis Air Force Base in Fairfield, California. I'm going to zoom out. Do you see what this is close to in California? Very close to Sacramento and very close to San Francisco. Now, this might not be any surprise because a lot of the tech people live in San Francisco, of course, and it might not be a surprise because it looks geographically in the middle of Sacramento and San Francisco. But what they want to do is very, very surprising. So they're buying up tens of thousands of acres of farmland here, and they're going to or want to start their own city, a brand new city away from Sacramento and away from San Francisco, and they want to do a lot of things with it. They say they want affordable housing. I'm sure they want different tax laws. I'm sure they want different uh, treatments of homeless people uh, or none at all. You know, I'm sure they uh, are looking at safety, um, but they're pitching it kind of to people as something with a little better house affordability. But that, uh, you know, may or may not be true. They've kept this very secret for a long time. So, um, you know, they found out also by kind of polling the people that had some of this farmland. And what's crazy is this lawsuit is a um, $510 million antitrust lawsuit because what the company that these billionaires invested in is claiming they bought, um, I believe, a $170 million of this farmland. But they said that the landowners got together and conspired to make these prices higher for them because they knew all these rich tech people were coming. So they, the landowners allegedly got together and fixed the price, right? And you're not allowed to do that. That is antitrust. Now, would I do that? Sounds like something I would, I would maybe think about doing if I knew that there were a ton of billionaires and hundred millionaires and tech people trying to buy my, you know, dusty old farmland. Yeah, I might do it, but you let me know what you would do. However, um, I think a lot of this settled. Um, they can, they said that, uh, I believe, like I said, they bought it for 170 million right here, and they, um, the company that the billionaires invested in, alleged damages of 510 million, and the damages are from overpayment for properties, um, and they continue to increase. The defendants are jointly and um, servilely liable to pay Flannery treble damages for lost profits. So Flannery, since 2018, this is I'm not going to read you this whole thing, of course. But it's been purchasing rangeland properties in the Jepson Prairie and Montezuma Hills of the Solana County. Flannery has purchased or is under contract to purchase approximately 140 properties. The aggregate amount invested or committed to purchase an escrow exceeds 800 million. Except for these initial few purchases, Flannery's purchases have been a substantial premium to fair market values. So kind of crazy. So during the five years that Flannery has been invested in this area, not a single other buyer has emerged who would offer even a fraction of those prices and terms that Flannery was offering. The lack of any other buyers at those prices and terms demonstrate that Flannery was paying multiple times um, market value. And it looks like 
they have now settled. But you can see the billionaires that invested in this because they want, once again, their own space. They want a new city with tens of thousands of new homes, a large solar energy farm, uh, orchards, and over a million new trees, and over 10,000 areas of new parks and open space. Uh, they said despite the large land grab, Flannery Associates have never made public what it intends to do with the 52,000 acres, an empire that's nearly double the size of the city of San Francisco. In the suit, Flannery only, only details in the ways in which it won't alter the land. It claims it told land owners that land owners that they could keep existing income streams from wind energy and national gas storage and could continue using these properties rent free for decades so what do you think about this um, also on this channel we go over real estate i'm a real estate investor we talk more about that and if you have any questions about that let me know and we also talk about real estate news stuff that you will not find anywhere and stuff with a real estate investor perspective on it. I flipped 100 homes and sold 200. So like and subscribe if you want to. Send this to someone that might live out there and let me know what your thoughts are.